Hi guys, so right now we are working on our me and my shadow drawings to start off our year with our first project. We already started adding color. I'm gonna go over some of the words that we've been talking about and then I'll give you some instructions. Hi first grade. So right now we have a project that we're working on and we are talking about what? What are we talking about in this project? I hope you said shadow. We are making a portrait, and a portrait means a picture of a person. However, when you make a portrait of you, it is called a... Hope you guys said self-portrait. All right, now who can tell me what the line that is called when the land touches the sky? What is that line called? Could anyone raise their hand for me? I hope someone said horizon. So the horizon is that line in between the sky and the land where they meet. We're using a light source from above to create a paper shadow on our paper. Today we'll be focusing on adding details to our foreground. Those are the things really close to us. The middle ground, which are things that are a little bit farther away. And then the background, so things that are in the back. Please be thinking about what you want to include in your portrait today. Maybe you are running away from a horse, or maybe your house is in the background, or maybe you're catching a football. It's totally up to you, and I want you to be very creative. When you walked in, you should have found this piece of paper and then also a pencil. Go ahead and sharpen your pencil now and give me a thumbs up to show me that you're ready. What this is, is this, this is a reflection. So I'm gonna help you write it with me. So at the very top, it says artist. Guess who the artist of your artwork is? It's you, you need to write your name at the very top. I'm gonna write Mr. Boatfield because that's my name, but that is not your name. So you need to put your name, please. Go ahead and put your name on this paper and give me a thumbs up. Thank you. The next thing it says is title. You can name your artwork whatever you want. If you're on Mars, maybe it's me on Mars. Maybe if you put a giant roller coaster in your drawing, you could say a day at the park. Who knows? So I'm gonna call mine me and my shadow. If you wanna name yours me and my shadow, that's fine. But you can also title this whatever you want. So go ahead and give it a title. Spelling does not count. You don't need to ask me how to spell it. Spelling doesn't count. Awesome. So the next part is really easy. What this says is I use these tools to create my work of art. And all you have to do is circle the ones we use. Do we use a pencil for this artwork? Well, we're using a pencil right now. I think we did. You had the option of colored pencils. If you use colored pencils, you can circle that. I haven't used them yet. We, I use crayons. We definitely use scissors. We definitely use paper. And we use glue. The next one it says is paint and iPad. And we did not use those for this project, so you don't need to circle them. Now these, you can either answer on your own or you can copy me. It's up to you. What this says is I learned I can. I'm gonna give you an option, but if you wanna write what you learned right here in this box on your own, that's okay too. I learned I can. Here's what I wrote, and you can copy this. I'll pause it at the very end. What I wrote is, I learned I can use photos to create art. So you made a pose, I took a photo, and then you cut it up so that we could use it for art. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up once you've either copied this or written your own statement. The next question is questions I asked. So I want you to think about maybe asking a question. So your question could be, why is it raining? Why is there a flower growing there? It could be anything about your art, or it could be, how does the iPad work? Why did we take a photo? Think about a question that you could ask me. Okay, so you can either copy or you can write on your own. I put questions I asked, where else could I be? Maybe I'm on the beach, maybe on Mars, maybe I'm on the sun, I don't know. Go ahead and either copy this or write your own and give me a thumbs up. Very good. 
So the last one is something that you need to come up with. Remember, spelling doesn't count. What this happy face and these words say is, I'm proud of, and then you get to write something that you're proud of. Now, I'm working on this one right now, and I'm not done, and you might not be done either, but one thing I'm proud of is that my raindrops came out really well. So that's what I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write, I'm proud of my raindrops. Maybe you're really proud of your pose. Maybe you are super proud of your cutting. I don't know. Go ahead and write down one thing on your own that you're proud of. Remember, spelling doesn't count. Just use your letter sounds. Good job. The next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to pass out one glue stick for each table. You're going to take turns using it. What you need to do is you need to glue your paper to the back of your artwork. That way when parents or Mr. Flynn or your teacher wants to know who this is and they don't exactly know who the person in the photo is maybe, they can flip it over and they can read all about what you did. What you're gonna do is flip this over, give it some glue. I usually go on the sides of the paper like this, all the way around, one big rectangle, flip it over, I give it a few massages, 10 seconds would work. I just kind of massage it out. If there's any areas where it's still sticking up, just give it a little bit more glue and then massage it down. After this, what we're gonna do is we are going to finish our artwork and hopefully finish coloring and adding detail. So once you're done, flip it over and give me a thumbs up so I know that we are ready for the lesson. We should have already started coloring. I'm gonna use Miss Avery's as an example. So I made one for Avery, she has her own, but I'm gonna go ahead and make an example because I lost mine. Uh, remember, you can add some texture. You can make grass even more grassy by doing little vertical lines that are going all over the place. You could even do plants. Maybe I'm gonna do a little flower with a stem. You can use marker, you can use crayon. It's totally up to you what you wanna do. I would actually use maybe all of them. I also have colored pencils on the middle table if you would prefer to use one of those. What your goal is, is you wanna fill this up with different things. So I want you to really fill up the space. Some things you could choose from, maybe a cloud or a sun, a moon. It doesn't have to be daytime. Maybe it's nighttime. Maybe there's a toad in the grass or a doghouse. It's up to you what you wanna put in your picture. You have access to the color pencils, the crayons, and markers. So I do expect, expect this to be colored. So don't forget to color, baby, color. Give it color all over. So I'm gonna fill up the sky with color. Now your sky doesn't have to be blue. Maybe it's orange, maybe it's purple, maybe it's Mars and it's red, I don't know. It's up to you how you want to decorate your piece of artwork. Before you leave today, it's important that you write your name and class code at the bottom corner. When you are done, please raise your hand so that I can come by and check your work. You can leave it at your table. When you're done and you clean your area, you can choose whiteboards. You can choose free draw. We have cube structures that you can take this and then work on the carpet. We have books if you'd like to read. We have blocks on the carpet. We also have the Picasso game if you know how to play. So those are your options for today. I hope that you have a good one.